Hello, 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 and welcome. I hope I'm coming through okay, and I hope a few of the things worked. Um, the uh, introductory music, if it came through okay, and if you could hear it all, that was um, a band, local band to Northern Ireland, Baleful Creed, from their album The Lowdown, and it's Mr. Grimm. Uh, fantastic sort of really good rocking band that I quite enjoy listening to quite a bit so uh, give them a shout out um, and you can find them on Spotify, you can find their website as well, put some of the um, uh, details in the description and uh, once once this is all over so you can track them down and listen to them as well so in the meantime we are on episode three attempting to do this live um and we'll we'll, we'll see how we get on tonight so 
so far in the story of Edward Holmes, we have gotten to go through the waking up, running around as a scav to get to the um, to get to his contacts, Prapor and the therapist and some of the other traders. The in exchange for getting the information of exactly where the weapons cache is, which is, you know, the normal st uh, player stash, um, we had to pick up a couple of tasks from Prapor and from Therapist, as well as picking up a few other tasks from the likes of the mechanic. And we now have survived three raids which was the journey to get to the stash we've arrived at the hideout we've started putting it you know tidying it up a little bit and um the last episode i didn't do too badly died a couple of times but got got a couple of good raids in and just as a little celebration as he edward was out um what would I say? Gathering a few bits and pieces, came across dead scav, decided he didn't have much with him, um, so he put on the, the scav's uh, belongings, took his gun, went out and did a raid. Now we're back at the hideout. So we have the think for this episode we're going to try and finish off a couple of the uh tasks because we have to we have to get a bit of favor with prapor and the therapist and uh see if we can do as well some of the uh a couple of the tasks from the mechanic and i think that will probably be enough for this episode and i'll sit down and sort of think a little bit more about what we can tie into um edward holmes's story as we go along and as i've said previously if you're coming in and you're having a little watch um if you think that you have a good idea for continuing the story please do leave a wee comment um, like, subscribe, share, whatever, you know, I don't mind. Um, it's, it's all good for the algorithm, as they say. So, let us kick off. Let's get back to the character. Now, between the last episode and this episode, I've actually gone back to the traders. I've sold a few bits and pieces, and I have... Um, bought a few things to try a little bit out now my vpo 209 um i've tricked out a little bit so just do this so bought a bastion and uh, an mrs reflex site and put it on i've also bought the m1b Just to put it on the front, make it look a little bit nicer. And I have a suppressor as well. So let, let's see what this does for us. Let's go to our tasks. Debut, we only need to find one MP133 shotgun. So that's okay. We'll see if we can do that. Probably not. They'll now be as absolutely rare as hen's teeth. We have to find in raid three Salewas and then hand them over to Therapist as thanks for patching us up. And then the mechanic has a couple of uh, tasks here. Introduction, which is to go and find Jaeger's camp. And Gunsmith is to trick out an MP133. 
So we've we've done a fair bit on customs so far, so I think I'm going to have a go at doing Jaeger's camp. Um, I suppose in order to do that, I am just going to put this here. Yeah. Um, as we go out into woods, there's fair number of places we can pick up things to drink and things to eat but for this i want to bring something with me because you need to keep yourself hydrated and you need to keep your energy levels up so we have money now so what i'm going to do as well snip in here there's our pmc go to woods Two o'clock in the afternoon, yes, thank you very much. What we're going to do is ensure. So if we get killed and nobody really cares about it, we might get some of the things back. Okay, I think we're ready. Next to the one. Yeah, there's quite a few people and they're all fairly fairly look at that 32 level 32 okay grief okay let's go this will now give us time to think and ponder life as we get ready to go in um if you haven't already as well please do please 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 uh, you can uh, watch episode one episode two i also have them time stamped as well so you can flick about to you know ignore the boring stuff going on in the uh in the hideout and go to the different raids i have them all marked up and you know you can even skip through some of the raids as well of each of the raids maybe three or four time stamps um i'm trying to do it up like kind of a report uh situation report so you know maybe it'll feels a little bit more immersive um Anybody who's watching this who, who does play Tarkov, um, you might notice as well, I have all of the HUDs um, moved. So, I don't know if I'm running out of energy or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to make it as immersive as possible. And having the HUD up, kind of, for me anyway, takes a little bit away from that um so uh hopefully you'll i don't know maybe you'll enjoy it maybe you won't but uh i appreciate everybody who comes along and even has a little watch or gives it a little like um but uh definitely if you have any ideas on developing uh please do um come in and uh make a wee comment on what i can do next hello paul hello how are you thank you very much for dropping by much appreciated <laughs> most of this is just talking to myself but it's nice to have somebody else thank you very much for dropping by appreciate it oh rossi oh right okay thank you very much rossi <laughs> Oh, thanks very much for dropping by. This should be a laugh. Don't worry if you're an insomniac as well. Um, this will definitely put you to sleep. My dulcet tunes. <laughs> yeah, be shy. <laughs> oh, this is this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I'll, uh, uh, Rossi, um, if if you are angry or um, Roll have any ideas, 
I'm I'm trying to tell a story. Because at least that way, <laughs> every time I die, it doesn't feel like a complete hames and a complete loss. <laughs> uh, so this is this is a story of Edward Hollands as he tries to escape Tarkov, which, if I'm anything to do with, he never will. He will be pushing up daisies quite a bit. <laughs> Thanks very much for dropping by, bud. Oh, here we go. I have to say the, the waiting times, for me anyway, haven't been the worst. So they're not too bad. Now, I have to go to Jaeger's camp. Now, where am I? Big rock. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Okay. I know where I am. And I'm not too far away from Jaeger's camp, which is great. So I'm going to concentrate and try and stay alive. Ammo. Try and stay alive and then get out. Come on. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Rossi. You got this, pal. Edward will complete its objectives. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, Kvatch. Food is always good. Water is always good. Energy is always good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm just waiting for uh, players and scavs. Let's see how we get on with this. By the uh, crashed plane. Let's just oh, hear a little bit of shooting going off. Oh! Right, let's get to Jaeger's camp. We have found Jaeger's camp. Right. Oh! Now we have the envelope. So let's see. Explosions and shots going off everywhere. How do we escape? Outskirts. Great. Okay. Have to go around our skirts. Let's try and make it. Let's go. Run, 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 run. When you have something like this, uh, especially when you have the likes of a task objective in your back pocket, you know, it's trying to get out time. Desperately trying to get out. Oh. Heard a scav. A lot of fighting going on down. Oh crap! Bagla. What cool? I can hear you. 
Where the heck are you? Uh, oh well. Let's get healed. Thanks, Rossi. Well, there you go. After tricking a, a gun out, I have lost it. Possibly. Possibly. Oh, well that was a bit rubbish. No, what? Didn't even get to shoot it. That sucks. Okay. What will I wear? I'll wear that. Let's just pop this all back in. Um... That over there. Okay. Um, bum, bum, bum. I am going to get. Hopefully. Oh, I can't. I need to. Need some dollars. And. Do I sell a pistol? Yeah, what the heck. Sell a pistol. And buy that. Now this thing will fit onto the MP5. Oh. A sight. And then... I'm going to use the small small magazines. Only got twenty in them, but I'll do all right. And uh, we'll bring fifty with us. That will do nicely. At least that's clearing out space, isn't it? Right. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Enter woods. Uh, yeah. Right. I'm not going to bring a backpack. I just want to go in. Get my bits and pieces and get out. So. That was such a good start as well. So close to it, which was great. Um, just ran into it. I think that was a scav anyway. I could hear him. Could I see him? No. Situational awareness, zero. But there we go. Um, trying to think of what what else I can get. Um, if I can grab a few bits and pieces of food and water, that would be grand. Um, and then just try and get out as quickly as possible. 
Loading the loot. My heart beats every single time. I want to at least complete this one objective. Just this one to unlock Jaeger would be great. Loading loot, nearly there. Ninety nine hundred percent, creating the loot pools, synchronizing, and we are almost synchronized, possibly, maybe. Two minutes twenty. Synchronized, so we're waiting for players now. This kind of gets me the length of time. I think Tarkov will be so, so much better if they can reduce the loading in times. Yep, there we go, 2.45. We're loading in. Deploying. Okay, let's get ready. And first fire. Oh, okay. Oh, fantastic. Outskirts is the exit, so let's get to the Eggers. Let's get to Jaeger's uh, little hunting area, his little shed, pick up that letter, and then get the heck out. That's all I want. Don't want anything else. Or poor Edward is going to be completely stuck here. Zonem. Thank you. Spent longer loading in. Oh. Darn it. Uh, okay, I need to be more focused. Much more focused on this. Yeah, 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 Rossi, next time. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Peacekeeper, what? Yeah. I'll sell this. Pistol. Somebody, somebody was doing a pistol run. And I should have had them. I hope I hurt them. But. Well done, lads. Uh, stick that there, stick that there. Let's see how uh, I can do that this time.
7. Even with all of this, I do love the early game. It's frustrating, but you know, you feel like you're getting somewhere whenever you do get something. Uh, will I take a bag? Might as well. Why not? But. Uh, Ragman. Helmet? Pack of armor. Helmet. There we go. That should do us now. Must remember. Bring magazines. How quickly Tarkov giveth and Tarkov taketh away. I will tidy that up later. Let's let's just get in. Have everything we need. Oh, no, no, I don't. Oops. That's better. And I get some experience for that as well. So that's not too bad. Do I still oh I st I still have a wound, do I? Have a wound oh great, yeah. There we go. Some experience. Where am I at? Oh I'm at level four. Ooh. That doesn't open up anything. Yet with the traders so let's ensure why not and then we go again I'm spending more time just waiting to load than I am playing the game <laughs> oh I can tell episode three is good just gotta go so well want to get to woods I just want to pick up the letter I just want to get out will this be third time lucky will it will it we shall see Loading the loot. Okay. I'd be happy enough if they could even get full loading in down to around about two minutes or less. That would be that would be really, really doable. See how we get on. Come on, loading loot, nearly there. Okay. Abby Nikita was hearing me, waiting for players. But he wasn't. Definitely not now. When Tarkov trolls you. 
on the loading screen. Okay, so we're we're sitting probably in around about two minutes forty five seconds to load in. I have heard of people waiting for ten minutes. <clears throat> so I can complain, but you know, not too much. How can I? Go up here and try and... The thing about woods is that you land in woods and you go, Oh, trees! Everywhere! Where the heck am I? Let's just get away from that spawn point as quickly as possible. Oh! Thing? I know where I am... ish? Possibly? Maybe? Then again, maybe not. They're already kicking off. Oh. Okay, I do know where I am now. This is by the USAC camp. Yep. Okay. I'm going to get one tapped here, aren't I? Have a little look around. <coughs> what have we got? Oh, excellent. Ooh, two chocolates. Any meds? Oh. No meds here. Sometimes there's a spawn here. Oh, oh, oh. Thank you very much. Um. Oh. Items. else. I'm going to get tapped, aren't I? Okay, come on. Okay. Oh! <laughs> okay. That was... I hope it. Thanks, bud. I really, really needed that dome to the head. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. I think I'm getting too distracted with looting. Ah, yeah, I know, Roll. Ho hum. Third time, not lucky in any way whatsoever. <clears throat> right, um. What am I going to do now? Take the little bag. That
Ähm. Gosh, Edward was doing so well. Till the third episode. And then it all went to pot. Okay, um, dum 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 dum. Right, weapon, weapon, weapon. Can I buy? It would be good to get that. Um, or I can go back to skier. Many can I get? I'm going to buy the three. I like those those optics. So I'm going to take... Oh, yes, I know what I need to buy. And is it there? I thought it was mechanic. Oh, dear Lord. Have they changed it? Here has the optics, which is great. Rapor has all of the 5.45. Peacekeeper has all of the Western stuff. Mechanic, I thought, had a wee gas block that would go in to the M4, but I could take the front's iron sights off. But apparently, it's not there. Okay. So, well, what the heck? Iron sights it is. And we will try this again. I need a heavy bleed. Let's go to therapist. Go and then we'll four, five, six, six, seven. Happy days. Uh, headphones. Great. Helmet. Just wondering, will this helmet actually fit? No, it won't because of the type of headphones. I'd rather take the headphones. So that's everything. Yeah, yeah. Back to woods. I wonder. Fourth time lucky. I'm running out of money. Ready. Everything in the story goes well. Up until the point you come, you come into contact with somebody else. As you can tell, I'm not great at the PvP. I can surprise myself sometimes. And others. They heard me coming. It was just ridiculous. Should have just gathered what I could and gotten out the other side. Because there's lots of different spawns about the place. Um, so I suppose when you're playing long term or this is really your game, one of the things you need to sort of keep in mind is where your um where your spawns where pmcs spawn in and either go and engage or stay away. um let's see if i can do it this time i would like it fourth time in let's let's stay a little bit longer please Although I have to say it's great crack when you're playing with friends as well. 
and uh, like some of the other games i really enjoy playing with the likes of rossi and roll and angry face uh, over on twitch is the likes of ready or not and dead side so dead side's kind of a bit like this looter shooter kind of thing crossed with desi but without the, z the zombies and it has its moments but it's kind of nice and chill especially with friends now we're waiting for players so i would probably say about two and a half two and a half minutes i'll be we'll get in be nice to get in let's see how we get oh oh and we're in oh thanks nikita really appreciate that right let's do this thing Okay, it's coming light. Oh, oh! That's. Where the heck am I? Alright, let's get over here. See if we can look around. I think I might know where I am. Kind of. Yes, 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 yes. I know where I am now, so I need to go this way. Oh, bit of a stutter. Running around here a little bit, because it's like, mm, where am I? I need to get my bearings. I'm not great at the best times. This isn't the best of times. Come on. Come on. Oh, actually, I wonder. Yeah, roadblock. Okay. Let's hope that any players in on this are mostly going to go for the mill area, which is over there. Yeah, sounds like it's kicking off already. Um, it's quite a hot point. For um, Itten. There's one of the bosses there. Sturman. So there's good um, good loot and good gear if he turns up. So a lot of PMCs run towards it for that. So I'm going to stay away from them. There will be a few PMCs over in this direction, so I need to be careful. Or at least as careful as I can be. So let's see how we get on. Come on, Edward. We can do this. Sniper rock over there. There's normally a sniper sitting up there. Oh, oh, oh. that's really kicking off. <clears throat> that's it. You just shoot each other and kill each other over there. Thank you very much. Blue grand. Ooh, very angry. Very miffed off.
that is shooting over there. Is that a sniper up on Sniper Rock? Don't see him. It's really kicking off. Kicking off. It's really scary. This is the best horror game I've ever played. Uh, I think, in a way, that was actually one of the better spawns. From a PMC because it's kind of where I need to go to get out is exactly mm -hmm. oh heard a scav Last night. Is there anybody there? I did hear a scout. So I just need to be careful. down here here we can see the crashed airplane please nobody be about please anything in the plane no nothing right here we go, here we go. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Whoa! Alright, laddie. Let's see if we can get out of here. This is probably the best chance I have at the minute. and get something on our way out. Be nice. Not very much, but, you know, it's something. Scavs will be appearing. Here somewhere. Tents, tents, tents. Oh, Expecting a cheeky breed. Anytime soon.
which I had to keep. And the gold. I don't mind not getting much stuff because I need to get out. Gonna get there. Oh, keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we are out. We survived. We survived. We survived. So that should complete introduction to Prapor. Oh, rock and roll. Okay, trading mechanic task introduction. Turn in the message. Get some rubles. And we go up a little bit with mechanic. Happy days. There's the little tick. Oh, complete. I need that. Yeah. Need to complete it to get it. Go. Gotcha. Woo. Awesome. Done that. We have done it. And let's see now. We have some shotgun shells. I know a lot of people like their shotguns or like mess about with their shotguns. I am agnostic about shotguns. Yeah, we'll keep that. I will keep the little torch. What's this for? Big pistol. I'm going to try and get some dollars. Yay! We got out, so that's okay. So that's a little bit of a celebration in itself. And we now have Jaeger unlocked. And he has Quintin's task. So what he's looking for is Iskra. Russian packs in raid, Amelia Rai Kurutons in raid, and cans of beef stew found in raid. Great. Lots of things now that will just not appear. So let's let's get these 
new things identified and see where we can go from there. Shotguns. MP133. No. This is a little bit of a cheat, but I'm, I'm happy enough to do that. Handing, handing over the MP, MP133, it, or at least I think it doesn't have to be found in red. I'm going to do, once I have this done, I'm going to have a quick check back with uh, Prapor and make sure that I don't need to find it in RAID, that I can get it from anywhere. So let's do that. Hello Prapor. Right, your shotguns. Obtain a handover. That's good enough for me. So it's one of the good things about trying to unlock Jaeger early on. Oh, what's that? Oh, compass. Well, that's the compass. Just looks different from the... Oh, well, that's nice. It's just it looks different from the last one. So here we have the MP133. And then what we do is go to Prapor, up, oh, turn in the shotgun. And that is another task completed. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And we get two new tasks from them. And let's, let's accept them. Let's accept them. And receive all. Ooh. Okay. Accept. So, the Ketter, hmm. And we have some extra money. Now, I need to try and get the money up to at least half a mil to begin with. I want to do that. Um... Here. Let's start sorting out what we have here. And right down at the bottom will be our weapons. Um Medications. There's the bayonet. Knife. Uh, food. Oh, go. Stick that down there. Um, bu -bu -bum. Oh, sort that out. Bring that down to here. So this is where we're stashing stuff. Ooh. Boop. Put the weapon uh, um, weapon additions just over here. There. And I'll just put those 
onto that, which will also save us some room. Um, ammo will need to sort out as well. It's in here. Hmm. The item will be destroyed if you try to discard it or if the character dies with this item in your inventory. Does not apply to item items tagged as found in raid. Okay. I haven't come across this before. There's the SSD. Gonna definitely keep the CPU, definitely need that. Um Let's see how much they're worth. Oh! Peacekeeper. We have monies now. I am going to buy that. And then buy that. And who? has the little gas block for the M4 or the AR-15. Has that been taken out now from Mechanic? Or am I not seeing this right? Oh no. This is this is something that will annoy me. So, gas block. Or fifteen. Tarkov. Sold by. Oh no, they've put it up to loyalty level 2. Ach, are you... you're joking me. Uh, okay. Alright. Nikita has completely... trolled me. But... That's okay. I can... with that actually keep that one there i'll do it to this one okay so we're going to mod the m4 a little bit so open up the upper receiver take that off put that on and pop that on um, darn it. I really want to get rid of that um because then they can start putting scopes and stuff on although i think you can put a scope on top of this although not quite sure of what that scope is right now see the problem is the m4 front sight is also the gas block So if you take this off, it's not going to work. And if you take the charge handle off, or carry handle, right, do that, great, you can put a sight on that. I wonder if it'll, if it'll allow me, okay, there we go. Right, so you have your site on. Isn't that great? We now have a red dot site. Oh, fantastic. Up until the point. Oh, right, okay. Essentially useless until I get rid of that front sight. It's a bit useless. 
So let's take that side off. Put the carry handle back on. Thank you, Tarkov. Right, so that means we can get rid of that. All right. Well, at least with this, um, we can start modding one of the M4s anyway. I'll leave the M4 as it is. Ooh. So we have nearly come into the end now, basically. We have died an awful lot. Oh, hum. But we have at least done Jaeger's um, mission from uh, mechanic, so we can uh, now access Jaeger, and we've opened up a, a few other uh, tasks to do as well. So Edward has done okay. Now, what I am going to do, I think, is as a little, just as a little, thank goodness for that, it's over. I am going to do a scav raid. And it's just as a little, whoop, got that done. Reward uh, to finish off this stream. I'm not going to stay on too long. I think an hour is more than enough rubbish from me for anyone. So let's do the scav. Let's go to customs. Let's do the morning and let's jump on in. Um, I have to say now, I'm, I am enjoying it, even the number of deaths. It's very frustrating at times, especially if you've geared yourself up and you're going, oh, this, this looks really class. I like this. Um, especially if you're used to sort of uh, survival games, um, it's really frustrating from that point of view. But risk reward, and at the end of the day, it's only a bunch of pixels. Um, but let let's see how we get on. So, I have a rig. I have a bag. I have that really weird six shooter shotgun. So we're loading loot. Hopefully we'll get in soon. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much for to Rossi and Roll. Shout them out. Uh, you can find them as well on Twitch. Uh, thanks very much for jumping in and just even saying a few words and commenting in the chat. I appreciate it. And uh, we'll see how we get on with this last little raid. And uh, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying it as well because I'm learning a lot about streaming on YouTube um, and how it's working itself through. Um, I'm it's okay. Um, so we'll 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 see how it works out. Oh, here we are. And we're in. Ooh. Okay, eighteen minutes, and we're at the old gas station. Oh my goodness, people have been in. Who's this? Bit of armor, always good. It's full as well. Happy days. Okay. Oh. Lots of shooting. Oh, 
Oh, and it's, it's another one. Oh, Tashanka. Actually, there we go. Right now, let's start moving out. Yeah. Oh! There has been a lot of shooting going on here. What have you got, me old mucker? Uh, no. You got in here? Nothing? Okay, well, let's just take that. Loot's loot. Let's change over. Okay, let's see where we where do we have to go? Crossroads railway railroad to Tarkov military base checkpoint. Somebody knocking about there. Let's see. Oh! Whew! Okay, you run about there, mate. Doing grand. Well done. Oh, Grant, you stand guard there, matey. You stand there, guard. Thank you. Thank you very much. Popochki! See how we get on. Утра выпил, весь день свободен. Cleared out. Ничего, скупщику все продам, заживем. Probably been all cleared. Oh, no. Not everything? Oh, definitely not everything. Oh my goodness. Интересно, до скольки сегодня скупчик работает? Сейчас барыгам, а потом по бабам. No. Oh. 
45, no space. Oh! Just don't shoot me. Thank you. I think it was the magazine, which is why I couldn't take it. Okay, military checkpoint. Oh, that's already been cleared out. Okay. Military base checkpoint. Oh, yes, I know where it is now. No, it is. So it's not too far away. Let's. Oh gosh, the place is absolutely hiving with uh, scavs. Let's see, has this. This been hit. Oh, my giddy aunt. All right, well, that's not as exciting. You know what? I'm full. I'm not going to take any more chances. Let's just try and get out of here now. Be greedy. Let's just get out. Keep it all good. Come on, Edward. We're going to get out of here. It. There is a lot of scabs about here now. Nice. So bizarre. A lot of them. So I'm kind of thinking that a lot of the PMCs got in, were either killed or extracted quite early. For all of those uh, scavs to just build up and build up and build up. Let's see. Has There's a little cache here. So let's see. I thought there was a body over there. Let's see. <coughs> Is there anything good in here? Oh, croutons! What the heck's that? A plexiglass. Right, I'm just going to try and identify them now. Oh, right, okay. Ooh! Right, well, I don't need that. Can go. There we go. Okay, there's seven minutes. Now I could get out now, or come on, let's go. Let's take a chance. The risk has gone up. We'll have to see if the reward will be worth it.
This is the Tarkov version of the loot boxes. Where is it? Okay, there's that. So it should be dying here. And what have we got? Oh! Helmet! Yes! Yes, thank you. Thank you. Pop. Ah. I don't know if that's the best way of doing it, but there you go. Okay. Let's get out of here. Down here is the checkpoint. We just go in here. And we have a little sit down as we get through the extract. Oh yeah. Oh, that was brilliant. That was great. And we have some armor. I am not going to sniff at that in one way whatsoever. Oh, excellent. Okay, it's coming up in an hour and a half, so that should be it now then. So we'll head back in. Oh, oh. Oh no, it's just... There's lots of glitches still in this, um, so sometimes you think you've something new when you don't. Now will be let's see that's quite good. Uh, we have a few rubles that can be sold. Sodium blood set plexiglass. I shall sell the pet plexiglass. Uh, well, we have a VPO now. And a Vogue grenade. We have some bleach. Shonka. So I think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cap, that can be sold. Blood set. Hey. Not so bad. I think we will keep most of it, not sell. Later on, you can actually sort of upgrade this. I'm going to sell that now. It's a level one, so it's like, meh. Okay, let's, oh, let's go. Oh, oh, I say. Let's sell. Let's sell. 
Now, I think these are dailies. Elimination. Eliminate five scabs. Factory. Oh my god. Supplier. Yeah. Let's help that. Oh! Turn in. And need to find BNTI module 3M body armor. Oh, that's the white. Mm. That's the white body armor. Uh. I may try and do this after we stop the live. Just to try and... Oh, extract. Customs. Tap that. Prep or? What's prep or? Find and transfer. MP443 Grash Handover Find and Raid or Crafted Item. Right, okay. I'll accept them anyway. I don't think I'll be able to do them all. But there you go. Okay, let us have a little look. And you'll see here as well, we're up to 0 0.03 reputation with fence. Because every time you extract, and there's a few other tasks that you can do, um, it goes up. And so the likes of your cooldown time with your scav gets reduced. So it's, you know, it's another little bonus. Okay. Plexiglass. Sell. Well, that that was that was a nice. At least it ended up nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we got all of the bits and pieces done. Uh, we got. Um, oh. What's this? Oh, little goodies. Save all. Prapor every so often drops you a few little goodies because he feels sorry for you. Um, so we got Prapor's uh, debut task done and we have Jaeger's, the introduction to Jaeger task done as well. So two, two official tasks completed. And we shall see how we get on. I need to get the Salewas. That that is an absolute must. Um and then I'll see if there's any other tasks, other little things that need to be done before we can close chapter one and move on to chapter two and see if we can develop um Edward's story as he travels through Tarkov. So anyway, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Uh, shout out to everybody who dropped by, including Rossi and Roll. And uh, I will see you on the next episode. So until then, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. Especially, please, if you have an idea on how we can take the story forward, what little things we can add in as rules to at least give Edward some sort of a focus as we move forward, rather than just jumping in and doing tasks and shooting things up. So, until next time, I hope you have a very good morning, good afternoon. Uh, good evening and good night, and I'll see you on the next one.